right guys so today i'm going to show what is the thing that you must do the first thing that you have to do if you buy a lexus hybrid so at the moment i have the is 300h so that would be relevant for everyone who owns is 300h and that will be cleaning your hybrid battery fan which is located in the right hand side inside the boot and here are all the tools that you need to be able to clean your fan on the hybrid battery on a lexus is300h if you have the overlay you just remove it and then with a prying tool you go under this and you click it open and now you have again access to that bolt you do the same with this one and you go with a 10 millimeter socket to remove these four uh, bits so are they bolts you need a prime tool something like that would do amazing job so with that stick it under and and then you hope you're gonna find it again. Okay, good. I managed to find it. So these things need to come out. So again, you do the same here. And here. Next thing to do is to remove those bits from here. So you have one, two here, three. So the easiest thing is to remove them with a trim remover. Still not incredibly easy. And if you have so this one and this one. First, what I did is start with a screwdriver as my trim remover is not the best. So if you have a screwdriver, you can do it like this. You go three here, go three, one, two, and three, three here. Then you've got one, two, and three here, holding that, and then the next thing we need to do is take these ones. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, as we need to remove that cover as well. So these ones, again, with the screwdriver, you open them, they're slightly different the way that these work. So you need to lift that top part up and this opens. So again, with the screwdriver on those, you go from under, you lift and you continue with all six and again I keep everything here just to keep it organized and now you can see the hybrid battery in all of its glory now we're gonna remove that part when you're removing the seal just be careful as it has some very sticky compound here just not to touch it it's really sticky and now what we gotta do is just pull on to that trim here from the top is gonna be the easiest side and then since we have located now the fan all we gotta do is to take it out so we can clean it the way to do that is by removing that electrical connection so just unplugging it and then unbolting those three bolts again we're gonna use the 
the number 10 socket so one is here on the top right corner one on the lower left and one on the bottom right so we need to remove the electrical connection so here is a pin that you need to push i've already done that so you need to push onto that with a screwdriver or with a trim remover tool you remove this then you take this one out like this and you push it down in so here this it can slide and you remove it like that and you take your ratchet you go here you go and you start unbolting okay so we have removed all three bolts so now i believe it should be just a matter of pulling the fan out yep here it is it came out relatively easy and now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take i'm gonna take a brush and I'm gonna clean all these fins uh, and you can see all the dust that comes off so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna come over with a vacuum cleaner and then I will vacuum it all right so what I've managed to do is just unplug the fan so there is this uh, brown thing that was held onto that hole here and I just removed it from there and I'm gonna take the fan out, which is gonna make it much easier to clean up. I'm gonna take it home and yeah, but you can see how much dust it came off just from three times going with a brush up and down and it just keeps on keeps on falling more and more dust and that is from a car that it's only six year old. Okay, I've managed to clean most of it and you can see here is some of the dust, the one that was not blown by the air into my face. You can see it in here, that it collected and yeah, it's not pristine clean, but it's definitely much better. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go with a vacuum cleaner and try and suck as much as possible out of it. You can still see some, a little bit of dust in there. So it may be worth it opening it. And considering that we've done all that effort to remove everything and just spending another couple of minutes just to open it. Now we have much better access to all the fins on that fan. So let's get them cleaned. And now we can all agree that it looks much better. Uh, I've put the fan back together. Now we need to get it back into place. So this one, let's see, hopefully I'm going to be able to aim it correctly. So we had it like this, here, so this, so this goes back. So as you can see, this brown thing goes into that hole and you put it like this and you just click it and that is it. So we've put the fan back in, we need to get the three bolts actually two bolts and one is it a rivet how is it called we need to put them back into place so you've got one on the top right one on the bottom right and one on the bottom left since we have everything taken out and that is not probably going to happen very often what we're going to do now is just vacuum all that dust out of the car all the dust and dirt out of the car as you can see it's not very clean it's all cleaned up and we're gonna put the lining back into place now is the easy part let's get started
these ones are the ones that came from here you pull that bit out so you can put it in and then you press and again That is how you clean your hybrid battery fan on a Lexus IS300H. Thank you very much.